AMD issued a statement recently to Digitimes about the increased motherboard cost, potentially, of AMD and their Zen chipset is uh, reportedly having issues with speed for USB 3.1 and that's because of a transmission line degradation as the USB 3.1 ports distance themselves from the chipset. So that's the sort of rumors report going on right now and that's related to AMD's decision to use AS Media for their uh, chipset design rather than doing it internal. But I think the real story here is actually the chipset's uh, readiness to hit market. So as of this statement to Digitimes, AMD has said that the new Zen chipset should be ready and hitting production by quarter three and will be in mass production by quarter four. And uh, that would coincide with earlier predictions and AMD's own forecasts that Zen AM4 motherboards and the Zen chipset will be available by quarter four this year. And that would include the new Zen CPUs like the FX CPU, which is getting a revival with Zen. So uh, the main thing here for those FX CPUs, if you haven't seen it, just a quick recap. The one shown at Computex a couple weeks ago now was a 16 thread CPU with eight cores and AMD has advertised the chip as being 40% faster than Excavator. Now, 40%, we don't know exactly what that means, if it's just overall performance or IPC or what have you, but it is the number that AMD has advertised as the, uh, the performance improvement over Excavator, so that's something noteworthy for sure. Seventh generation APUs should also be coming sometime in the second half of the year. So that's what we've got for you. The big news here is just that the Zen chipset will be begin shipment in quarter three, and it will begin production en masse in quarter four. You will probably be able to buy stuff around that time. As for the USB 3.1 issue, it's, uh, it's something that can be resolved by moving the ports to be closer to the IC by using an aftermarket IC like they do with the current FX boards, AM3 Plus boards already do this. So it's really not news to motherboard manufacturers, but uh, the reports we've seen have indicated that motherboard cost, that's not what we pay as consumers, that's what the manufacturers pay to create the product. Uh, the cost would increase anywhere from two or three to five dollars, which is significant, but there's time to hopefully resolve that, and in the very least, they can always kind of work around it by using these aftermarket separate ICs or just moving the ports or whatever. Uh, so that's something we will certainly look into and validate once Zen is shipping. But that's all I got for you for this quick news update. As always, subscribe for more information. We've got the RX 480 review coming up very soon here, so that's pretty relevant news to this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.